Hi, uh, this is the first vid for the first lesson of the A2 functions pack. Um, the first lesson will probably cover this stuff. That'll be lesson two. This is lesson three, but that might also be lesson three. We see how we're doing for time, how much it takes up. Right, so it's all about what you put in and what you get out. Domain and range. So the domain is like your x values, and your range is like your y values, like your ins and your outs. And we've got our calculators, which makes it easier. Oh, also, we've got to be happy to use f of x instead. So, like, if you look at this one here, two x plus one, just as it is, the x values go on forever. So this one would have like just the graph as you see it, say, might have like a domain, which is that x belongs to the real numbers, which is all the real numbers, and its range, well, it gives out all the real numbers. So you'd say that f of x belongs to the real numbers. So that just kind of goes on forever and ever. But what I might do is restrict the domain and just say, okay, I'm not having it for everything. I might just have it for part of it. So kind of like the putting the x in and getting the y out we call a mapping. So if you look, this is just used kind of certain values. Where if I put a 2 in, I've got a 2 times 2 plus 1 gives me a 5 out. So that's called the domain because that's the going in bit. And this is called the range. So it has, this one has specific values. Uh, um, yeah, that's about it really, <laughs> to be honest. It's just about what you put in and what you get out and understanding what's going on. So it says each individual element of a domain uh, has an image, like a separate number in the range. Now this has only got three numbers that I'm using. So the two maps to a five, the three maps to a seven, uh, and the four maps to a nine. Now, we've talked about in the past about natural numbers, which are your counting numbers, integers, which are just your uh, whole numbers with plus or minus, rational numbers, which are um, fractions, and then real numbers. So we've done that in the past. So you've seen these before. Uh, here we go. There. So this one, so we've got my function 2x plus 1. Is that the same as that one up there? Yeah. But if you look, I'm only using specific values. So when I did it up here, I kind of said, oh, yeah, go on, we're doing it forever. The line goes on forever. So my domain is all of any numbers. And the, real, the, 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 the range will cover any numbers, any real numbers. But this here is it's restricted to certain values. It's a lot of waffle this first bit of getting used to it. So I can use that for that, but I can see this this kind of mapping thing, which don't people don't really use really. Oops. Oh. Oh hang on, press the wrong button. Uh oh, I've done it again. It's all going wrong for me, you know. I want to get rid of that. I'm waiting a box wider, but now it's not letting me do it. Look, so it's stuck. There, that mapping notation. Um, you see it kind of like more at degree level than at A level, but it is where it's supposed to go. Yeah, anyway, right, so I'm restricting this domain here. So I kind of like, I'm using from minus two to three for my domain. So my range, because it's a straight line, would go between, so it doesn't ask for this, does it, and anywhere else, I don't think. So the range for it would be the f of x belongs to real numbers. So if I put minus 2 into the equation, 2x plus 1, that gives me minus 3. If I put 3 into the equation, it gives me 7. So that would be what my range would be for that specific set of values. But I can change it, and I've just got to be careful. Uh, yeah. So it says here, Wherever possible, I, I always, always, always do a sketch 
use your calculator, draw it, it helps you because you might get caught out. If you just like, so like I just subbed in the minus two and the three into the equation, it might actually dip down lower than the y values I've got. So you've got to be careful with that. So it says, so the domain is a set of values on the portion of the x-axis used by the graph. Uh, the maximum domain is everything. The range is a set of y values from a portion of the y-axis, or the maximum range is all of them. So it's just a bit of terminology there, a bit more terminology. Right, here we go, we've got some questions here, which is good. So I've got 2x squared minus 1. So state the maximum domain and the range. So 2x squared minus 1 is a U-shaped graph, whoops, that goes down to minus 1. Now, in terms of its domain, it can be any x value that I want. So I can say that x belongs to the real numbers there. Now then, oh look, it's there, sorry. Look. There. In terms of its range, its range starts at minus 1 and it goes up. So in terms of its range, f of x is greater than or equal to minus 1. But it's also a real number, so I want to kind of add that little bit in there. So let me just slightly change it, because I want to say it's a real number as well, just for absolute clarity. There. So f of x belongs to the real numbers, such that f of x is greater than or equal to minus 1. And that covers it there. Now there's one for you to do, for x squared plus 3. So I'll just show you it. There. There we go. I've got 3 over x. So 3 over x looks like that. Now it's got asymptotes at y is 0 and at x is 0 there. So the domain, the x values that you can use, so x belongs to the real numbers, but it can't be equal to 0. There. Can't be equal to 0. In terms of the range, the range belongs to the real numbers, so f of x belongs to the real numbers, but it can't be equal to 0 also. So I can't have x is 0 for the y, because there's nothing crossing on the y-axis, and I can't have the y is 0, because there's nothing crossing on the x-axis. 1 over x squared looks like a volcano. There. So if you look, the domain is everything, but the remains is just bigger than 0. And note that that one there is bigger than or equal to, but this one here is just bigger than because of the asymptote. Uh, I must be running out of time with this soon. Uh, but I'm going to stop the vid there and I'll we'll do another one in a second. But the main thing is you just want to see what your x value is, see what your y value is. And we've got the calculators to help us. So, right, hang on.